Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and good morning if it happens to be morning when you're watching this, I guess. <laughs> um, it's pretty early morning over here. It's about, I'd say, 7.45-ish. Um, I'm just up and finishing up some packing. We are heading off to Naromoru today, this morning in just a little over an hour. We should be leaving. Hopefully by 9 a.m. we're in the car driving away. That is the plan. We are going to be staying in Naromoru for the next couple of days, and I'm really excited about it. I've uh, been looking forward to it for a little while, actually. Um, it should be a really nice, relaxing, fun time. So yeah, of course, I'm going to be bringing you guys along with us uh, throughout our stay, and I'm really excited to tell you more about the place and show you um, where we're staying. It looks like such a beautiful place. So yeah, just gonna finish getting ready, um, load things up in the car. I'll probably go wake up the kids right now so that they can be getting themselves dressed and brushing their teeth. Hey sis! Hey, it's time to wake up. Do you want to wake up? Liam. Liam. Time to wake up, buddy. Hey, bud. Want to wake up? We can get moving and get ready to go. It's 9.13, so we were pretty close to leaving on time. Um, you guys ready to go? Yep. You excited? Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna stop in Nanyuki to do some grocery shopping because the place that we're staying is self-catering and uh, we're gonna have a chef who's going to prepare food, but we are going to buy the groceries that are needed. So next stop is Nanyuki. here in Nanyuki and we're just gonna do a bit of shopping like I mentioned before. We communicated with the chef and he kind of put together a little menu for us on a shopping list so we're just gonna go and grab everything that we need. This way Lucas. This one, down here. Grab one of those, yeah, a bundle of those. You grab it? Just grab it, it's like a whole bundle. Yeah. Like that. Hold it. You can put those bags in the cart too, if you want. <laughs> Okay, go take it to the cart. We finished up shopping at Food Plus, and now we're actually heading to the place, so we're excited.
Those are white turkeys and gray turkeys. Mm. Turkeys. Ducks. This is... Of course. Right oh, there. Oh, I want to find one. Oh, dude. Of course. Can I go look at the virus? Sasa. Daddy, can we get the virus? You're going to have to get the virus. You're going to have to get the <laughs> you guys gonna come out? Yeah. We made it. So this place is called Mount Kenya Holiday Homes and such a beautiful area here in Naromoru. And we're really excited. The grounds are very beautiful. It's set on over a hundred acre property. So this place is really, really big. And um, I was told you can see like some wildlife. So we might just go on some walks and look around. Let's go inside and check it out. Santi. Beautiful it is in here. Santi. Look at that nice fireplace. This is such a nice like entry sitting area. Ooh, look how high the ceilings are. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh, nice area for some grilling and chilling. I think we're definitely going to do some barbecuing, some nyama choma. So nice. Look at these cool paintings. Some cows. Dining area. Wow. Jen. You are the chef. Nice to meet you. Yeah. I am Mackenzie Baptista. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Santi. Okay. And what was your name? Pauline. Pauline? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Such a nice place. Yeah, you guys want to go see upstairs? Upstairs. You head upstairs, Leon. So this is a four-bedroom house, and it can sleep up to eight people. And we're just gonna go check out the bedrooms.
Feel cool, huh? I love this split level. I think I see a game up there, a board game, Scrabble. Oh, nice. You guys can play some games. They love playing board games, card games. Let's go see this bedroom over here. bedrooms there were three upstairs so I'm guessing that means there's one downstairs that I missed so I'm gonna go look for the fourth bedroom so here's the front door and oh yeah here is the fourth bedroom oh nice this one has the two twins two twin beds and its own bathroom as well <clears throat> so yeah, you really can't go wrong. It doesn't matter which room you're in, they're all cozy, comfy, nice, and have their own bathroom. Yeah, so this is a really nice space. I really, really like it. What do you guys think about it? Awesome. Nice and cozy and comfy. Yeah, I think we can relax here and recharge over the next couple days. Come sit out here for a minute. <sighs> yeah, this is this is our kind of vibe for sure, where you can just be in a beautiful space and recharge, relax. And unwind so yeah this place is called Mount Kenya holiday homes and it was only about a 25 minute drive from Nanyuki town um, we were shopping at Cedar Mall you know right before this and it only took us about 25 minutes to get here I think and I think the chef is in there preparing lunch now it'll be kind of a late lunch um, it's about 2 p.m. right now so that's okay um, we got here a little later than we wanted to and it looks like the kitchen is fully equipped so if you wanted to stay here and just cook yourself you could definitely do that um self catering bringing your own groceries to cook or you have the option to have a chef uh prepare your meals throughout your stay which is definitely the option that i prefer <laughs> because when you're trying to relax and get away um for me I can't fully relax if I know that I have to be in the kitchen cooking and stuff. So uh, this is definitely the preferred option. But um, yeah, if you want to stay here and cook yourself, you can definitely do that. You guys think you're going to play a game? Mm -hmm. I don't want to play a game. Though. Maybe we should clean up our toys. Let's decide what room you guys are going to be in. Yeah, what rooms. And then you can take all your toys and stuff up there. What do you think of the place? Good. Super nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's big. Relaxing. Mm -hmm. 
I was told that there's that there's uh you can see zebras and gazelles and different wildlife so maybe we should go on a walk later yeah. see what we can find we are going to finish unloading our stuff getting it out of the van and taking it inside and then probably just chilling until lunch right yes um, i think so and I'm realizing there's one more bathroom down here, downstairs, that I forgot to show you. Nice, so this is just an extra toilet and sink. There's coffee downstairs. Do you want some? No. Wanna come join me? No. For a cup? No. <laughs> George is already in chill mode. Mommy, you yeah. Or maybe we could have coffee out here. And some hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> London's in chill mode too. Don't you love that window seat? I love. I love. Mommy? Is this the room you're sleeping in, sis? Yeah. Mommy, it has a balcony thing. has a balcony? Mm -hmm. Want to drink like some hot chocolate out here or something? Mm -hmm. Here, I think you, you slide the door over there. You guys can oh relax and look at the, the beautiful view. This is the Ooh. coolest. Look at all the other houses. View, best room. Best view. Mine. <laughs> My room. Like I mentioned before, this place is huge. Um, this property is over 100 acres. And as you can see, you see all those other houses. All those other houses that are out there. I believe there's like at least 20, I think maybe over 20 that are already built. Um, and then there's lots of construction going on. I think they have plans to build up to like 40 more units. Um, and I know that they are for sale. Um, so if anyone's interested in this area and a holiday home here, I mean, who wouldn't be interested? <laughs> I can leave some contact info if you guys are interested. I wouldn't say no to having a home out here. <laughs> so nice. And there is a full-time housekeeper here as well, so that's nice. And she told me that there's coffee available, so I'm gonna go have a cup of coffee. I've been needing one all day. I did not have my coffee this morning. out the window. Look at that. 
<laughs> wow, London loves horses. Hello. 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 Oh, nice. Um, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Do you just do they just ride around with and you guide them? Oh, nice. So cool. In the morning, yeah. Nine. We get to ride a horse tomorrow. <laughs> so I guess they get to ride horses tomorrow morning, nine AM. <laughs> That's so fun. You guys found Jenga? All of our toys are playing. Except for my toy. And my toy. Oh, mine. Is this is going to be the tallest tower. You know I am very serious about relaxation. When I change into when I change into a dera and pull my hair back and get it out of my face. <laughs> that's the only way I can truly relax. Guys, lunch is ready. Let's go eat. It smells so good. Asante chef. Smells. It smells so good. What do we get? and it was so so good <clears throat> and now I'm teaching the kids how to play how to play Scrabble I'm hoping I remember how to play and all the rules because it's been a while but okay so everyone has their letters right so don't let don't let um, anyone see your letters you just keep them to yourself and let's say Lucas is going first um, you look at your letters and you see what word you can build out of the letters that you have. And 
do you see the letters? They all have numbers on them. That's how many points the letter is worth. Yeah, so Lucas just did the word tour. That's a good word. So yeah, none of those were on double. So you get four points. Um, I don't know what to definitely do. not. Oh, what am I going to do? I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put that in It feels perfect outside right now, so we're gonna go on a little walk and explore. A little patio right here. You could put some chairs up here and chill. I'm not sure what's happening right now. Let's go walk around and explore. No, this way. Hmm? Whistling acacia trees. Oh. You, know, you see these holes when there's wind? Oh yeah, it makes that whistling, whistling noise. Down. Yeah. So whistling oh yeah. I guess we're going to the bushes. Liam, what you doing back there? What? What'd you see? What'd you see? I think you just saw a gazelle. saw a gazelle. I saw a gazelle, two of them, when we were sitting on the balcony, but they were too far away from my phone to get good video. This does not look blocked off. Yeah. Somehow we always end up in the bush areas, no matter where we go. No matter where we go, we end up in the bush. There's an ostrich back there. I see it, I see it. In a cave? It's not in a cave. See it? Like in a fence. In a, in a, in a oh, I see it. It's not a cage. Not a cage, a fence. Enclosure. But they can see it. Don't go blind. Don't go blind. Don't go blind. Don't go blind. Wow, we hit the horse jackpot. <laughs> London will definitely own a horse someday because she is obsessed. Hello. No, I don't think so. They belong they belong to somebody. How beautiful they are. You can probably go up to the fence though, just be careful. The horse had a saddle on it? Uh-huh, it did have a saddle, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <sighs> I hope you tune in for dinner. Oh wow, a water hole, so there could definitely be animals over here. We're trying to be very quiet so we don't scare away any animals. Oh yeah, I see some on the other side of the water. There they are. <laughs> yes, can you see that? So many of them. Look, they're running. There they are. Are they antelope? Antelope. Wow. 
There's zebras. Sissy, don't run. I'm gonna scare them. Gazelle, antelope, zebras. Wow. Wow, I feel like we're just out on the Mara. <laughs> There's the zebras. Wow, look at that. Liam said, what if there's a lion? Wow, look at that, look at the baby one. Look at that, that's incredible. Seriously, I feel like we're just standing in the middle of Maasai Mara. Yeah, I'll watch these. They're all gonna scatter. There they go. Whoa, is that so cool? Wow, that was so magical. What do you guys think about that? Um, that was awesome. Wow, look at them go. They're so fast. Mm -hmm. They're like, okay, time to go. Look at that baby horse. Sissy? Sissy, look at the baby horse over there. Wasn't that so cool, babe? Was that not like magical? That was magical. <laughs> Honestly, this evening was worth the entire trip. Just so... Words can't really do it justice. And I'm sure video can't do it justice either, but just it feels like you're out on the Mara right here with all the wild animals just galloping and running around. So cool. Go help your daddy. He needs help. Thank you. Thank you, Liam. Thank you, Bigos.
We're all back here relaxing, waiting for dinner. I'm gonna run upstairs and take a quick shower. Um, I think they're lighting a bonfire for us outside. Enjoying the fire and some wine, and now dinner is dinner's ready, babe. Dinner is ready. I'm not even sure what we're having, but it smells really good. Kids, let's go sit down. Dinner is ready. Where are you, Liam? Come eat some dinner. Ooh, some like potato wedges. And, ooh, beef, it's beef, I think. Beef stew. Oh, it looks so yummy. A Santi chef. Wait, there's still these two. I'll open these. Chapati. Oh, no. Open that one up. Open that one up. Greens. And some greens. Mm -hmm. Blish. Mm -hmm. You want more chapati? You want more chapati? Did you see yeah. the greens? There's greens in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's the food, Lucas? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. It's good, let's see. Mm -hmm. The kids are in bed sleeping and George and I are just chilling and winding down the night. We're gonna head to bed soon, but we were enjoying the fire outside. But we've had an amazing first day here at Mount Kenya Holiday Homes. It's seriously such a beautiful place and we're having the best time. So um, thank you for watching and for coming along with us and stay tuned for part two because we have a whole uh, day two coming up tomorrow that I'll share with you guys as well. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Say bye, babe. Bye, bye.